name is Yuri Bishonsky. I live in Estonia. Uh, in Estonia, I have a school for transpersonal psychology and hypnotherapy. Uh, I have 250 students in that school. Uh, I'm teaching my students to become transpersonal psychotherapists. Apart from that, um, my real passion in my work is what's called psychoneuroimmunology, which means how the mind is affecting the immune system and the neurological system. So as a psychologist, I don't only work with emotional problems, but I will also work with physiological problems. So we are working with people with cancer or any kind of diseases that are not, uh, they are incurable. Because we believe that uh, the body is reacting to our emotions. Our emotions, our thoughts and feelings are affecting our physiological body. And if we're going to find that feeling that has triggered the physiological or emotional imbalance, then we can do something with it by doing emotional clearance. Uh, and with this work, apart from Estonia, I travel so far around more than 60 countries around the world. I'm lecturing in medical schools, in universities, in psychiatric schools, all the way from China to Mexico. Uh, and it's basically all very exciting. And the other thing we are feel very passionate about is the subject of education, uh, because we found that we psychologists waiting for a person to develop a problem, and then we coming and trying to fix that problem. But we, if we start to think about education, we start to think about transpersonal, not only as a psychology, but as a philosophy and a way of living, Education starts at birth and ends in death. So in a way, if we can start from very early age, from kindergarten, teach children to meditate, to talk about their feelings, to get in touch with themselves, we can actually make a big difference in this world. Um, so we are working very hard, spreading the message around, and always looking for new people that will just join us in our efforts. Thank you very much. Uh, Professor Yuri Biehonski, thank you for uh, the chance to have you here. You're coming from Estonia, so, but I don't know if you are coming right now from Estonia or you are traveling all around the world with uh, uh, your system, your creative system, um, is a very um, profound um, way of putting together all our, um, how can I say it, all our dimensions. Mm -hmm. And then, do, you are an educator, you are trying to, to prevent us to arrive in, a, in yeah. difficult conditions. So we have in our hands and our responsibility uh, the way in which our uh, system even the, the psych, psyche or the, the psychosomatic system will, will develop. Professor, you are um, also uh, uh, trying to help people with cancer, people with, uh, who uh, unfortunately arrive mm -hmm. in those yeah. conditions. Uh, I think we may start from the beginning with something very uh, uh, important about what we have to do in the field of education, so the viewers. Some of them are sick, some of them will be sick if they continue with this kind of uh, busy life. So we have to meditate, you said in that short movie, we have to learn to be in, in touch with ourselves. Please, help us. <laughs> okay, the, the whole idea is that the mind is affecting the physical body. Uh, all our thoughts and feelings are affecting our physical body. For instance, when we get goose pimples, uh, certain feelings and thoughts can make us hot or cold. Mm -hmm. Certain feelings uh, and thoughts can increase our uh, blood pressure or lower it. And directly, not after quite a time, so instantly. Instantly, uh, instantly. Yeah. Okay. So it's our perception of reality mm -hmm. that is actually affecting our physical body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And by doing some of this perception, 
And this perception is what was programmed into our mind or into our computer, mm -hmm. of course, by our parents and our social environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have to work hard, we have to be good, we have to do all the things that our parents want, wish for us to become a good, good citizen and so on, in imposed culture, in a way. It's not only okay. The, the, it's not only be good. Okay, I give you a very simple example because I like to talk very simply so everybody can understand. A, a mother bought a bicycle to her son for Christmas. Yes. She gives him the bicycle and says, says to him, "Be careful! Five children were killed last year riding a bicycle. Now take the bicycle and have fun." Okay, this is a program already. There is a program. Then the, the poor child goes to school and there is a teacher. And the teacher says, you have to work hard. A lot of pupils fail. If you don't work hard, you fail. So there is constantly some kind of fear mm -hmm. and a huge expectation put on yeah. us yes. to perform, to be good, to fit into society. Mm -hmm and to sit in school and to study things that most of them, unfortunately, have no relevance whatsoever to real life out there. <laughs> yes, and then uh, when uh, a person come to a, a doctor and said, okay, you have cancer, uh, if you are not g going to, to do surgery and so on, you will die within, mm -hmm. I don't know, one year and yeah. so on. And of course, the poor uh, yeah. uh, um, person, mm -hmm have to to uh, to have a common sense and then to die within <laughs> one year it, it is it is a program mm -hmm. because in the wudu magic when the wudu magician says to somebody mm -hmm. you're going to die tomorrow that person died mm -hmm. tomorrow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because everything comes from the mind so but the belief it's the belief you know jesus has not performed miracles in the bible mm -hmm. the moment that people believed Yes. Okay, it, they got healed. They got healed not by somebody. It was a safe feeling through belief that yes, okay. they can get better. Okay, so the problem is to to help a, pe a, pe a, mm, a ill person to have a a good belief. But how? Because the the ill person can say, okay, I am very critical with myself. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. I don't believe in Jesus. In believes nothing. So okay. is this closed? What do you do then? Okay. <laughs> you see, the, the thing, it's, it's not only belief, it's also about lifestyle. Okay. Okay? Okay. Because it, it's, ver it's very simple. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to speak in metaphor and in pictures. Mm -hmm. So the metaphor is, I'm walking in the field, there is a big lake, yes. and suddenly I see a man drowning in the lake. Yeah. I jump to the water, I so, pull the man out of the water, I lie on the grass, yes. I do mouth of mouth resuscitation, hard press ups, yes. and I bring him back to life. Okay. He stands up and says, Thank you for saving my life. I'm taking him by the neck and throwing him back to the water. And this is actually what conventional psychology and medicine is doing. Okay. We are curing the symptoms mm -hmm. and then we throw, sending the person back to the environment that has caused the symptom in the first place. Not the causes, the causal That dimension. has triggered. Yes. That has triggered. Now, mm -hmm. th because there are two questions, very important questions that we need to ask about any symptom. Mm -hmm. How long ago did it start? Mm -hmm. Second question, what happened in your life around that time? Yes. Okay. So at that moment, we have the trigger mm -hmm. because if we talk, if trying to talk about scientifically, everything starts from something, nothing comes uh, uh, from yes, no, uh, nowhere. from blue, yes. So, they spend billions to do mm -hmm. cancer research and to find a cure for cancer. Mm -hmm. Did anybody ask ever a question, maybe we're going to research what is causing cancer in the first place? Mm -hmm. But you see, the mind and the body are two separate entities. Unfortunately. I enter a hospital and there are signs. Mm -hmm. Cardiology to the, uh, to the, the right, yes. neurology to the left, psychiatry second floor. Mm -hmm. The human body has been divided between different departments. In the head of each department, there is a professor with a big ego mm -hmm. that does not talk to the yes. professor of the other department. <laughs> because it's his big ego. So, you see, the, the mind and the body are two separate things. Mm -hmm. So, 
20 or 30 years ago, somebody called Professor Adair suddenly made amazing discovery that the mind and the body are connected. Mm -hmm. What was known in the East for thousands of years, in the West, bravo, we found it suddenly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so the second metaphor will be very, very simple. Mm -hmm. If you cut the weeds in the garden, they will grow back after the next rain. The more often you cut the weeds, the stronger they grow. Mm -hmm. It's like a lawn in the garden. Mm -hmm. The more often you, you, you cut it, the stronger it grows. Yeah. So all we do, and the weeds represent the symptoms, all we do, we are cutting symptoms. Yes, not the and roots. Every gardener, mm -hmm. every gardener who does not have any academic degree, who doesn't have high education, knows a very simple fact that to remove the weeds in the garden, you need to dig a hole and remove the roots. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be a scientist or an academic to understand this simple fact. And what some people do, they still cut symptoms. And then you had cancer, we cut it out, go back home and come for checkup in a few months time to see if it did not spread anywhere else because there is secondary cancer. Yes. So already the program is there, it might come back and you have to be careful. Very so careful. We, we are we get sick, uh, and the cause it's the entire way of uh, living, the whole system. We cannot put a part, not even a glass of water, from that system. This is professor the the the, the paradigm. Okay. We finish school, mm -hmm. and by the age of eighteen, nineteen, mm -hmm. because of social pressure and parental pressure, mm -hmm. we have to decide what we're going to do for the rest of our life. Mm -hmm. We go to university, and I'm going to study computer sciences. Why? Mm -hmm. There is money in it. But if I had money, what shall I do? I should study art and drama. So I went to study computer sciences. Mm -hmm. Very quickly I discovered that it's not very interesting, <laughs> but my parents told me, when you start something, you have to finish it. Yeah. And being happy is irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Then I'm getting married, and then I produce two children, and then I take a loan from the bank to buy an apartment, another loan from the bank to have a car, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then every morning I have to wake up in the morning and go to work, not because I want to, but because I have to. Mm -hmm. And this is my lifestyle. Yeah. Okay. I don't like my life. Mm -hmm. I hate myself and I'm supposed <laughs> to, to raise happy children in this system. Of course. How yeah. does it work? Yes, yes. It, it, uh, uh, I, stupid. Uh, we, we are stupid. And I, we, see, we may see the faces of uh, thousands of people going uh, in the morning to yeah. their jobs. They are not living. They are surviving. Okay. You said we are stupid. Let me say differently. We are born clever. But we are born very, very <laughs> clever. We are all bo born uh, princes, and life turns us into frogs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Beautiful story. It's the fairy tale. It's the socialization and the education mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that m makes us stupid, kills our creativity, and at that yes. moment, mm -hmm. we forget that we have a body. And the only use that we use our body for is as a mean of transport to the head. <laughs> Apart from that, the body does not have any other meaning. Transport to the head, yes, beautiful. And, yeah, and sitting on a chair from ten, ten, for 10 hours a day, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And making money to pay the bills. And then make, making money to pay, to pay the doctors. Yeah, <laughs> of Beautiful, course. so beautiful frogs. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the doctors just give chemicals. Yeah. To suppress the symptoms. Good industry. Yeah. You see, we had once, uh, hold on. there is some, for instance, winter comes, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm sneezing, I'm coughing, I have high temperature. I go to the doctor, the doctor checks me up, and the doctor says, I know what you have. You have a virus. Okay. Okay, bravo. Each year, the virus has a different name. There's a Beijing virus, there is a Moscow virus, Okay. Um, bird flu came from China, Ebola and AIDS came from Africa, pigs flu came from Mexico. Have we ever heard of New York virus or Paris virus or London virus? No, it's political. It's the primitives from the far countries <laughs> who are affecting our pure 
uh, life. An evaluated yeah. life, yes. But if there is a virus, mm -hmm. why one person has it and the other person does not have it? Mm -hmm. It all depends on the stress level at that moment. If I'm stressed, run down, my immune system will get low and every single microbe or virus that will be in the air will affect me. Mm -hmm. So it's all about immunity. Mm -hmm. So once we had a disease called tuberculosis. We managed to cure it? No, we managed to repress it. Mm -hmm. When we repress something, this is the law of nature, mm -hmm. what we are repressing is mutating, it's called mutation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tuberculosis mutated into uh, uh, AIDS, into birds flu, into pigs flu, because the same system uh, to Ebola is the same mm -hmm. system of the respiratory system. Mm -hmm. So every time we so-called cure something, what we are curing is evolving to something new. Mm -hmm. Where was cancer 100 or 200 years ago? There are hardly any archaeological findings mm -hmm. of cancer in the old times. Animals in nature don't get cancer. Domestic animals get yes. cancer. Yes. Why? Has anybody asked the question, why? Mm -hmm. We're looking for too many answers yeah. without knowing how to ask the right okay, questions. Okay, Professor, so I need, we need hardly to improve our way of living in order not to be so stressed and so our immune system yeah. and our the natural ways yeah. of uh, healing to work. Yeah. So what can we do what do you think you have experience in this about the shifting in life changing so i'm uh, i i'm working in a very uh, big city so uh, with okay please what to do first of all we have to find who we are who we the are. question wh who am i it's a very important question mm -hmm. where am i what am i doing in this life and what I, is my Passion and mission in this life. Passion and mission. Passion and mission. mission. And the next question is, what kind of world I want to leave behind me for the next generations? How do you sleep at night? Okay. Calmly, when you raise two children and you're going to release them to this world out there as it is. Mm -hmm. How can you sleep at night? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the question is to go back to the roots. The roots is childhood. Okay. And it goes back to the inner child. Mm -hmm. Inner child. Inner yes. child. Yes. And the inner child works very simply. And I want you to imagine mm -hmm. that in front of you stands a little child. Mm -hmm. And this little child is the little you. Mm -hmm. And you look at the eyes and the face of this little child. Yes. And when you look at the eyes of this child, what do you see in these eyes of the little child? Mm -hmm. And because you are the only person in the whole world, you are the only person in the world. Not any, no doctor, no psychiatrist, no psychologist knows better than you how this child is feeling and why he's feeling like that. You are the only person or world that knows what this child needs to hear right now. And maybe you like also to give this child a hug. Because the child you once were is still alive in your adult shell. You see, our age, our number of person, our age, mm -hmm. is is called the biological age. Mm -hmm. It's just a time measurement yeah. from the moment we are born till today. This is the only meaning it has. Mm -hmm. Emotionally, we are much, much younger. Mm -hmm. So whenever we have feelings or thoughts that logically we know we're not supposed to have, mm -hmm. it's not us, age 40, 50 or 60, yes. who have this feeling, but a little child inside us. Mm -hmm. And what we do to this little child? Exactly what our parents did to us. Repressing. Don't feel yes and stop crying because you're not going to stop crying i'm going to give you something to cry about mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and smile it's not the end of the world don't be so sad smile mm -hmm. positive psychology come on yes yes repression yeah Bo repression, repression of all feelings that are so-called negatives yeah. so every time that i feel a little bit less than happy it's not okay i have depression mm -hmm. Okay. Lack of expression equals depression. This is where depression comes from. Lack of, of expression. Equals depression. Yeah. And from my clinical experience, mm -hmm. when we talk about panic attacks, now, in my opinion, and I might be wrong, I love to say this <laughs> sentence, because 
To be clear, I know nothing. Yes. Psychology is supposed to be the science of the mind. Mm -hmm. But where is the mind and what is the mind? So we psychologists practice the science of something. We don't know where it is and what it is. Mm -hmm. What a waste of time. Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, I might be wrong. <laughs> Panic attacks are caused by unfulfilled potential. When I'm actually find myself stuck in some kind of a job or a lifestyle mm -hmm. and there is no joy and no yes. satisfaction of it yes. and I'm just, I'm there because I have to, not because I want to, of course I get panic attack because I've got two assumptions as I don't know what I'm talking about and the word theory in my dictionary, mm -hmm. theory means everything that is opposite of the truth. Perfect. If you want to know Great. the truth, go to church or university. <laughs> If you come to me, I know nothing. So, <laughs> yeah. in my opinion, mm -hmm. all our so-called pro so problems, physical and emotional, mm -hmm. are only a normal reaction mm -hmm. to an abnormal situation. Mm -hmm. Not what, the other yeah, way around. What yes. conventional psychology and medicine mm -hmm. do, mm -hmm. they fix the abnormal, uh, the, uh, the normal reaction, mm -hmm. but they don't touch the abnormal situation. Yes. My yes. next assumption is that all, all our prob so called problems, physical and emotional, mm -hmm. are illogical and irrational. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have an immune system, we're not supposed to be sick. We're supposed to be happy. We all read the American positive psychology books. Don't worry, be happy and <laughs> smile. Yeah. So all our problems are illogical and irrational. Mm -hmm. Any attempt to analyze logically and rationally the illogical and the irrational, it's a total waste of time. Mm -hmm. And this is how we're causing ourselves problems. We experience something, we have an experience, emotional experience, we're trying to logically to look at it and understand it. Mm -hmm. And when you don't understand it, we go to some specialist that will explain it to us. So then I go back after my therapy and I'm happy because now I have a label and I know what I'm suffering from. And my suffering is a chemical imbalance in my brain that should be corrected mm -hmm. chemically. And it's nothing, not my fault and it's nothing to do with me. Yes. If all our problems are logical and irrational, mm -hmm. they are created by our imagination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In order for me to help a person, I will need to use their imagination. This is why part of my practice is hypnosis. You are the, the, the author of the uh, transpersonal hypnoanalysis. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, when I say to you, imagine a little boy yes. standing in front of you, Mm -hmm. Without closing your eyes, you're in, already in a trance state. Mm -hmm. But also I can say to you, I want you to imagine yourself mm -hmm. 10 years from now, the future you. Mm -hmm. And you from the future comes here, mm -hmm. and now you have become the you of the future. Mm -hmm. And you know exactly what this, your present self needs to do to make themselves better. What would you like to say to the present self? You see, this is the, also the pure humanistic psychology. Yes, yes. Pure Because all the answers are within us. Mm -hmm. And I believe when a client comes to therapy, mm -hmm. they don't come to hear answers to the questions. Mm -hmm. They come to receive confirmation mm -hmm. to what they already know that it's right. Yes. And then right, come to receive permission to do something about the choices they already made. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I cannot teach anybody anything new. <laughs> you, you are just the proper mirror environment in order that uh, that little child can be understood yeah. and can be reflected. Yeah, as, as you mentioned the word mirror, mm -hmm. this is actually in a way what I do. Mm -hmm. I take a mirror, symbolic mm -hmm. mirror, mm -hmm. put it in front of a person and I mm -hmm. see this how it looks like. Because I'm not here to make you feel happy and to tell you lies yes. and to tell you, you know, that now you're going to close your eyes and feel this euphoria of white light coming from the sky and all this esoteric stuff. I'm putting me in front of you and say, this is how it looks like. Do you like it? No. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do about it? I don't know. You don't know? Okay, let's invite you from the future that knows. 
<laughs> what you from the future will say to the present you mm -hmm. about doing something about it. Mm -hmm. This little child is scared. Mm -hmm. This little child wish to to have his own way, to be free. Yeah. Uh, not to do the same things. To to travel. Not to to remain in the same yeah. city. To have lots of life experiences. Mm -hmm. So, the, um, the result of, of what the child uh, need and wish is to quit. Yeah. So to quit f from many of our duties. And then, oh, I'm afraid. I, I have, I have to, to be brave to do this. Yeah. Because the things will start to not to be controlled. I have to, to pay the bills, from what, and so on. Y you all already mm -hmm. encountered yeah. all this uh, 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 rational, mm -hmm. or ir irrational thoughts, I don't know. Even Eric Erikson said mm -hmm. that a young person, when they finish school, they need to take what he calls a moratorium. Put a rucksack on your back and travel the world, mm -hmm. find who you are, mm -hmm. have experiences, yes. then you know who you are and what you okay. want from it's life. From How can we demand from a young person that don't know who they are and what they want from life to make a decision which is going to affect the next 45 years of their working life? Mm -hmm. It's not fair. Not fair, yes, yes, yeah. You have a remarkable way of um, putting the things in, in from viewing from our perspective. Yeah. So you are giving hope to a person that he is very okay, but he's only responding to a bad environment. So this means that we are functioning perfect. We are adapting. But we are adapting to wrong, very wrong conditions. We are not adapting. Mm -hmm. The body never lies. Okay. Our mind can escape to the past or to the future. The only thing that exists in the here and now is, is our body. body. Okay. The body never lies. In adapt. our mind we are adapting. I'm happy. I'm okay. I had a happy childhood. I've got panic attacks and depression. I've got cancer. But apart from that, I'm happy. I had a happy childhood. I have the perfect marriage. Mm -hmm. I love my job. And I have wonderful children. Mm -hmm. So where those symptoms are coming from? Mm -hmm. So the body cannot lie. The body, the body, nev the body never lies. Okay. So th in fact, we cannot repress uh, the energy in the body. The, the body will express it. Anyway. Yeah, when we repress it, it comes out in different ways. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So uh, our quest may uh, start from the body. Yeah. So, for example, if we have, I don't know, arrhythmia or something, yeah. uh, functional heart mm -hmm. uh, condition. Yeah. Let's suppose it. Okay. We have it. Okay. So, starting from here, what you do? What? With okay. The, First. The two, the two classical question: How long ago did it start? What happened in your life uh, around the time? Then I'm asking general question to know the person in front of me. Okay. And one of the questions I ask is, what do you do for fun? And you have to see some of the actions. People go suddenly silent. They look at me like I ask the most strange question. What, what, what do you mean? When was the last time I went on holiday? Mm, five, six years ago. Mm -hmm. You are a criminal, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With yourself. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I say it. I say it. And you see, so those two questions and uh, for instance, I had this woman, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, she had uh, cancer, uh, started in the breast, went to deliver. Uh, they told her there's not a lot we can do. Uh, I ask you a simple question. I want you to imagine that the cancer has gone, just disappeared. Mm -hmm. What would you do with your life? She said, I want my life back. I said, no. 
No way you get your ground back. <laughs> you want to go back where okay. it started? No. Yes. What would you do differently? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because now you are free from cancer. She said, I will start playing the piano and I'll go to art classes. So I said to her, do you want to recover from cancer? Start now. Don't wait. Yes, yes. You see, mm -hmm. what we do is, first I will have the courage to do something, then I do it. It doesn't work like that. First, mm -hmm. I do it, and by doing it, I'm getting the cancer, uh, the courage. Correct, correct. Yes. Because the behavior is creating the feeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Change the behavior, change the feeling. Mm -hmm. But the way we are programmed is, as long as I feel like that, there's nothing I can do. It's very concrete from today. Within one hour, yeah. I have to start playing the piano. My piano. Yeah. 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 Yes, directly and very simple. And then it's maybe it's not about quitting the job from this moment, but doing the thing that you love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very difficult. You see, I said before that psychology is the science of the unknown mind. Mm -hmm. Psychology was supposed uh, was a so-called science that was supposed to explain to us our human behavior so we can live an easier and less stressful life. Mm -hmm. Psychology has failed mm -hmm. because psychology is a science put psychology is something we all do put in a language that nobody understands. Mm -hmm. For me, the word psychology is something I want to simplify human behavior and not to complicate yes. it. I talk in pictures, I talk in metaphor, and I talk so everybody can understand me. Albert Einstein said, if you cannot explain your theory to the barmaid, yeah. your theory sucks. Simple <laughs> as that. And yeah, sometimes yes. I'm listening to those big names who written 20, 30 books, I'm sitting in lectures, and I feel sometimes so stupid. Those long academic words that mean nothing. You're not talking to the people anymore. Mm -hmm. Psychology is there, humanity is there, and they have not created the contact. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is a humanistic yeah. perspective yeah. indeed. Because when you have a car, you take your car so many kilometers to the garage mm -hmm. for a service. Not because there's something wrong with the car, but because you don't want the car to fail you. Mm -hmm. From time to time, if you're a responsible person, you go to the dentist to have your teeth checked, mm -hmm. eyesight checked, blood pressure checked, because you're a responsible person. How many times you go to somebody to check your soul, your emotional state? No, we're waiting for a major disaster, some time of total nervous breakdown, depression, panic attack, or God knows what, and then we cry for help. Yeah, yeah. So this is an education, start education This is education. Yes. So I also like to say, I'm not a therapist, I'm an educator. Mm -hmm. I teach people to look at things differently. I teach people to ask questions mm -hmm. instead of looking for answers. Mm -hmm. Professor Yuri, as I see it, in fact, you are what uh, a psychologist is supposed to be. Supposed uh, to be, yeah. Supposed to be. Supposed to be. Yes, so a person who uh, is trying to connect to the truth, not through the concepts, mm -hmm. but through the feelings, the emotions, through the, uh, the field of experience, trying to be simple and in, uh, aligned with the, the, the way of the nature, you know, which is, we are very simple. Mm -hmm. To the personal truth, because there's no universal truth. Okay, so it's relative truth and personal yeah. truth. Yes. Okay. You see, on a spiritual level, we are all in this world for a purpose. Okay. We are here for a reason. Is there a reason? I choose to believe that there is a reason. This is also Einstein, uh, Einstein's words. I don't know, I choose to believe. Okay. okay. You see, wh why, I, why am I this passionate interest in this subject? Mm -hmm. 44 years ago, I was in an explosion. I got injured. Explosion? Yeah. And uh, I was in hospital for, a, for one year. I had 26 operations. 26 operations? Yeah, in one year. And three months I was clinically dead. Three months? Yeah. I had near-death experience. I went to the other side and I was sent back. 
Okay. So, my life was given to me as a gift. So you, you experience all the, the tunnel things and so yes, on? Yes, yes. So my life was given to me as a gift. Okay. I spent another 10 years not talking about it because I thought I have some kind of schizophrenic episode until I read some <laughs> book and heard pe other people that had the same experience. Mm -hmm. Then I realized that my life was given to me as a gift. Okay. I'm not the owner of my life, I'm the keeper of it. And my mission in life is to give that life force to others, just to pass it on. Mm -hmm. Professor, please, it's the first time that I meet, I meet um, a third degree encounter, a person with the, the real experience of yeah. near death. Um, please, just a few, few okay. I don't, pictures from it, because it's the key point. I understand now yeah. why you are transpersonal psychologist yeah. okay. <laughs> and why you are, yeah. you are what you are. Okay. So there is the tunnel of light. Yeah. yeah. I was walking in this tunnel of light. And in the end of the tunnel, there was a figure with no face. And the figure said, stop, go back. You have not finished what you have to do. And the you that we are, you are traveling with the, with the feeling of identity still? Kind of. Kind of. I left my body. There's this thing of living my, getting out of the body and mm -hmm. going as some kind of entity in this tunnel. Mm -hmm. So I, I went back. Okay. And I spent 10 years thinking, you know, what, what does it mean you have not finished, finished. to do what you have mm -hmm. to do? What do I have to do? You know, it, it's a question that we don't ask ourselves. Okay. We yes, live like yes, yes. robots that are programmed by some kind of social rules, how mm -hmm. we have to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this tra tunnel traveling yeah. in, uh, in uh, um, I don't know, body, body time, uh, uh, period was well, three months or three months? For me, it seems like five minutes. Five minutes, but three? But, but it was uh, three months when I uh, woke up. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you was connected to all that, that uh, stuff in order to survive? Yeah. Like three months? Yeah. And then the recovery, it was, I think, very long. After three months, all the muscles, muscles are yeah. already in... The recovery was very long and not easy. Yeah, lots of lots of yeah. pain and. Stuff. But I'm a very active person. Mm -hmm. I travel the world, 65 countries so far, mm -hmm. and I'll be 65 in April. 65? Which, yeah, which means normal people should retire by now. <laughs> but by you then. are just beginning. Not me. I'm only beginning. Yes, yes. I'm only starting. Yes, yes. Wow, wow, uh, remarkable, remarkable. And so, I I can believe you because you have experience on your own. Yeah, yeah. So the only way th in which we can um, know the truth is by living it. So otherwise uh, there are speculation concepts and nothing. As Fritz Perls said once, mm -hmm. the founder of mm -hmm. Gestalt, mm -hmm. you can say thousand times to a child, this stove is hot, don't touch it. Mm -hmm. Until they don't yes. touch it and experience it, nothing is going to change. Yes. We have to experience life. Yes, yes. Gaston Bachelard, the, the psychoanalysis of the fire. So yeah. the fire is forbidden now, but yeah. we have to, to burn and yeah. to feel the passion of yeah. the fire in order to... to, to or you know, you can say to your child, don't play with the matches mm -hmm. because you set the house on fire. The moment you turn your back, the mm -hmm. curtains are on fire. Yes, yes. We so, are, have so many rules in society, don't do this and don't do that, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So in schools we have sex education don't have sex because you get pregnant thank you very much first thing i'm going to do out is have mm -hmm. sex <laughs> don't drink alcohol because mm -hmm. it's not good for you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and don't take drugs mm -hmm. and the more we talk about it the more it happens yes yes because it's all about negativity and about yeah. prohibition about yes. dangers yeah so you have a purpose in life yeah. you i think this is your purpose mm -hmm. this is your life yeah and even to be here and yes. to, to tell us yeah this. i'm passing the message through yeah, yeah. The people are hearing this kind of message. Do you think that they can really hear? You, tell me, you are optimistic or...? Uh, okay. I, I would I, like to say I'm optimistic, but I'm going to tell the truth. I'm not optimistic. I'm actually quite pessimistic. Okay. Uh, because I practice hypnosis. Mm -hmm. 
Okay? So a p person comes and say, I'm suffering from clinical depression, hypnotize me out of my depression. But don't ask me about my childhood. Nothing, yes. Don't ask me about my relationship and my job. I don't want to change anything. I just want to hypnotize me out of my depression. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to explain it does not work that way. But some people want just on a symptomatic level, looking inside. I'll give you another example. Some people are trying to send their children to me. Mm, yes. Children yes. have problem. Not, not them. Yeah. Themselves. Hypnotize my child to do his homework, not to lie. And my, my child has different physical or emotional symptoms. And I, and I try to explain the child is a symptom. The child is a reaction. Mm -hmm. Leave the child at home. Yes. Parents, come yourself and let's see. Because, you know, it's, it, it's not about where is the parent's fault, but where is the parent's responsibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the science of psychology, it is brilliant science, from time to time invites, in, is in, in, in inventing new disorders. Mm -hmm. We've got something called attention deficit disorder. Mm -hmm. Where was it 20 or 30 years ago? They say it was always there, but we could not diagnose it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if a child has the attention deficit disorder, because according to the conventional psychology, we're not allowed to make the parents feel guilty. Mm -hmm. We say to the parents, it's not your fault. Your child has a chemical imbalance in the brain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where it's coming from, we don't know. But we're going to give some chemicals to the child and everything will be okay. Yeah, yes. You see, so let's think for a moment realistically. If I'm a parent to a child that has a problem, mm -hmm. okay, one message is, it's not my fault, the child has some, some imbalance. Mm -hmm. The other message is, it's my responsibility I have to change something in myself. Mm -hmm. Which message would I prefer? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then, when I prefer the message that my child has an imbalance, it's nothing to do with me, mm -hmm. then as a human being, I become very angry. Yes. Because you're sacrificing your child. Yeah. Yeah. This makes me angry. We are using yeah, our child. Yeah. And by, you see, I'm a human being first, mm -hmm. therapist, psychologist, or whatever second. Mm -hmm. I've got feelings too. Mm -hmm. Things do make me angry. Mm -hmm. Things do make me feel passionate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the world out there. Yes. And I'm scared and it hurts mm -hmm. to see how people are destroying themselves in their yeah. own hands. Yes, yes. It is painful. Very and painful. in the same time, they're raising children. In the same way. In the same way. Yes. Without even stepping back. Yeah. So those are the dark forces in the world. And maybe, maybe this is the, 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 your, your, your goal. Okay. Dark forces. Wait and, a moment. But we have only two minutes. So okay, quick. dark forces. Okay. Mahatma Gandhi said mm -hmm. that the only uh, evil that exists in this world is the evil inside us okay. and this is where the battle should be fought. Yes. Dark forces, people will think about the outside Here. dark forces, Here. so I'm not responsible. Mm -hmm. okay. The only dark forces exist in the, inside us. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is where it starts and this is where we should fight it. Beautiful. Professor Yuri Biehonski, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, I'm sure that all uh, that we he may hear you mm -hmm we may responsabilize ourselves so yeah. everything it's within our souls and our mind no dark forces there here yeah here the light and here is the, the all the possibilities mm -hmm. thank you again thank you, thank you.